here at the Say Word Town Forest. We're wrapping up the active logging portion of this forest management project. Derek is here just cleaning up uh, what remains on the landing, just some softwood and hardwood pulp. That'll be sent to the mill here. So we wrapped up our active logging portion of this forest management project. Uh, I'm really proud of the work we did. Derek did some great work out in the woods here. Um, really high quality. Uh, it really came out well. Uh, I'll be the first to tell you if you come up here right now, it's, it looks messy. Um, no logging job is as perfect as you could ever get a logging job. Still looks a mess. And it's, it'll be messy looking for a year or two here. I mean, this summer, things will really green up. I and mean, right now, there's just some raw dirt because nothing's greened up. But as soon as the leaves start to, to pop out, we'll get some growth on these roads and, and the exposed soil here within a couple of years. Things will really start to green up. And, and then that's when our goals of this forest manager project really will kick in. You know, this is just phase one of what we want to have happen out here. In these trees out, we give them more growing space. We want those trees to start growing more. We want these patches that we um, cut in here, these openings that um, regenerate to young forests. So that'll start to happen. That's really the exciting part of this. Um, the logging is exciting, but I, I really am excited to see this in two, three, five years. See, see if those goals we wanted to achieve happen. Um, this is just the beginning. Uh, of of an exciting process that's about to happen of uh, the forest's response to this treatment um, and like I said it looks messy but but it, it was done at a really high level and, and I'm really happy with how it came out I hope to see uh, anybody who has any questions at our our walk we do in the spring oh. so for now uh, we're gonna we're pretty much done here at Sayward uh, until the spring so I mentioned closing out a logging job and what I mean by that is making sure all the trails have the proper drainages installed any rutting has been smoothed and the landing has been cleared of debris and seeded and mulched. Derek has already closed out so to speak 80% of the trails here by putting water bars in um, along the trail. And all a water bar is it's just a dip in the road to catch water. Here's one here and I'll walk and we'll check out this other one. You can really see it, what it's doing here with this ice thaws and uh, the water starts to run down this road. Without these mounds, um, it'll continue to flow down the road. And as, as the water flows down a road, it picks up velocity and flow and volume. So you're gonna get more water, more velocity. And as that happens on the road, you start to get erosion on your road. So you get, start to get dirt and, and soil washing down your roads. And if that's not taken care of, you don't stop that flow with a water bar just like this. Hard to see, but it's uh, this ice patch here is the is the bottom of a water bar. The dip is right back here. So if you don't have those along your road, you're going to lose it to erosion. This is a crucial part of any logging operation is the proper closeout and drainages on your roads. Um, closeout also includes any stream crossing. We don't have any stream crossings here. Um, we were able to lay it out so we didn't have to impact any streams. But if we had any crossings in a stream, any temporary crossings, those would get pulled so water could flow through. Um, the biggest thing we had to do, or Derek had to do here, was put these water bars in. This is crucial, a very crucial part of any logging operation. Every logging operation needs to do this type of closeout to be successful.